math grade 1 quarter 2 week 5 let's learn about adding one digit and two digit numbers multiples of 10 with sums up to 100 in horizontal form without regrouping day 2 matatag curriculum Hello kids, it's me, Teacher Frel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and hit the notification bell for the latest video. You can also follow my Facebook page, Teacher Frel TV. For today's lesson in Math 1, we will discuss about adding one digit and two digit numbers multiples of 10 with sums up to 100 in horizontal form without regrouping learning competencies the learners add numbers by expressing addends as tens and ones or expanded form add numbers with sums up to 100 without regrouping using a variety of concrete and pictorial models for Two-digit and one-digit numbers Two-digit and two-digit numbers And Solve problems given orally or in pictures Involving addition with sums up to 100 without regrouping Day 2 Learning Objectives At the end of the lesson the learners should be able to add one digit and two digit numbers, multiples of 10, with sums up to 100 in horizontal form without regrouping. Hello learners! Let's have a drill on basic addition facts. What number is this? Correct! This is 87. Write this number as a sum of tens and ones on your show me board. 87 equals 80 plus 7. 87 equals 80 plus 7 is called a number sentence. In the number sentence 87 equals 80 plus 7, 87 is the sum, and 80 plus 7 are the addends. 87 equals 80 plus 7 can also be written as 80 plus 7 equals 87. In the number sentence, 80 plus 7 equals 87, 87 is the sum, and 80 plus 7 are the addends. The purpose of this lesson is to add one digit and two digit numbers with sums up to 100 in horizontal form without regrouping. Read the following keywords. Tens. Ones. Sum. Number sentence. Add. Plus. Equals. Digits. Place value. Value. Addends. Solve. Let's read the problem below. Mother sells soaps in the market. The soaps are sold in packs of tens and packs of ones. How many soaps does she still need to sell if there are four packs of tens and eight packs of ones left? How many packs of 10 soaps are there? There are 4 packs of 10 soaps. How many packs of 1 soap are there? There are 8 packs of 1 soap. What does the problem ask? The problem wants us to know the number of soaps mother has still to sell. Let's find out the number of soaps mother has to sell. Do it in pairs. Bring out your counters and use them to represent and solve the problem. 
How many groups of 10 did you make with your counters? How many ones did you make? I'll show you the representation below. The counters also show the number of soaps mother sells in packs of 10s and 1s. Here is the representation of 10s and 1s using the counters. This is group of 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. How many groups of 10 are there in the drawing? Correct! There are 4 groups of 10. How many ones are there in the drawing? Correct! There are 8 ones. How many soaps does mother still need to sell if there are 4 packs of 10s and 8 packs of 1s left? Find the answer in pairs, then share your answers. Here are some possible solutions. Counting by tens and then counting by ones. Like 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. Another is counting on starting at 40 using the counters. 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. Another one is by writing the number sentence. 40 plus 8 equals 48 and counting on 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48 to find the sum. So 40 plus 8 equals 48. And by relating it to the previous day's lesson on writing a number as a sum of tens and ones, like this. 48 equals 40 plus 8. 48 soaps are still to be sold by mother. What if the following day, mother had 5 packs of 10s and 9 packs of 1s? How many soaps does she need to sell for that day? Solve the problem using the solution or strategy you prefer. If you are done solving the problem, Share how you found the number of soaps mother must sell. Expressing the given situation in an addition sentence and using counting on are the most efficient strategies. The number sentence should be 50 plus 9 equals 59. In yesterday's lesson, we express a number such as 54 as a sum of tens and ones. We have 54 equals 50 plus 4. How is this different from today's lesson? Today, we are given a number expressed in tens and ones and we need to find the number. And now, let us do this activity. Tell the total number of cubes. Number 1. 20 plus 9 equals... What is the answer? Very good! The correct answer is 29. Number 2. 50 plus 3 equals... What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is 53. Number 3. 10 plus 8 equals... What is the answer? Very good! The correct answer is 18. Number 4. 30 plus 1 equals... What is the answer? Very good! The correct answer is 31. And number 5. 40 plus 7 equals... What is the answer? Very good! 
The correct answer is 47. How do you get the sum of 80 plus 2? We count on like 80, 81, 82. We can also do what we did yesterday. We determine the value of each digit in the number and express the number as a sum of tens and ones. This time, we did the opposite. In 80 plus 2 equals blank, 80 is the same as 8 tens, while 2 is 2 ones. 8 tens and 2 ones is 82. So, 80 plus 2 equals 82. Now, let's do this assessment number 2. For letter A, match the tens and ones with the sum. Number 1, 30 plus 9. The correct answer is 39. Number 2, 60 plus 7. The correct answer is 67. Number 3, 90 plus 3. The correct answer is 93. Number 4, 50 plus 6. The correct answer is 56. And for number 5, 40 plus 5. The correct answer is 45. For letter B, add tens and ones. Number 1. 80 plus 8 equals, what is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is 88. Number 2. 70 plus 1 equals, what is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is 71. Number 3. 50 plus 5 equals, what is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is 55. Number 4. 20 plus 9 equals, what is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is 29. Number 5. 5 plus 30 equals, what is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is 35. So kids, do you understand our lesson for today? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learned a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!